Well, that's a huge development. It's the 99 of Wilkins, the winner from yesterday. That's a huge development, Cal. The fact that they had to hook that car up and tow it tells you that there's something pretty seriously a miss, Cal. Okay, we're into the five second, the yellow lights now. Red lights are on, revs come up, we're racing! Round number eight on Fasta. Absolutely dead set, trying to get away. He is getting sworn, Cal. Yeah, the big opening there didn't get it right, but look at this, Ryan Eversley immediately to the front, slots inside our pulse into Michael Lewis. And sitting third now is Michael Cooper, who I had said, bit of a revelation, not a surprise with his skill set, but being thrown into this car right before qualifying, He's there. And in TCA, look at this battle here. The two teammates, Eric Powell and Jeff Sexton, back to the overall TCR battle. And as you can see, the 43 of Eversley continues to lead Lewis. Up front right now, the number 43 of Eversley. This is what he did in the race yesterday, Cal. Once he established that lead, he was able to gap the field. You'd have to think what's going on inside his helmet, Greg. The team will have told him Wilkins is out. The closest uh, championship contender is out of this race. So right now he's in a prime position. If he keeps this margin right now, just keep hitting your marks. But as Lewis gets close to him, potentially later in the race, what does he then do? How defensive does he get? He doesn't want to throw it all away. Right now, Eversley, even though he got hung up a little bit, he was able to quickly generate another second gap here. And as we go back now to TCA, Eric Powell having a good run, but unable to... Uh, to shake a well-motivated Jeff Sexton. And there is Tom O'Gorman, and he's feeling the heat right now from Anthony Girazzi. That is two different classes. Ooh, it looked for just for a second yeah. like Eversley just balked. He really did. Lewis is all over him right now. I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe a little slip that we couldn't see on the screen for Eversley, but definitely slow coming through turn six. Look at him. He's right on his tail here. He may think about a move to the inside. Into the festival curves go our leaders in TCA, the two team cars, the Subarus from TechSport. Eric Powell actually having to defend just a little bit on Jeff Sexton. We have a new leader as Sexton able to pull the pass off. He took a look, but look at Powell's exit speed, Cal, out of that, and that may have been a, a fast in, slow out move for Sexton. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, Powell there looks to the outside. Sexton gives him a little bit of racing room. That's what you'd expect. No team orders, but plenty of discipline there. Up front, Powell continues to lead from his young teammate. Sexton is staying right there, recognizing anything can happen in one of these races. And that time I thought Sexton defended a little unnecessarily going into turn seven, and that compromised his exit again, and that should let Powell slip by. He's just got a great run, and indeed he does. So Powell back to the lead in TCA over Sexton and Uretsky. Up front, Eversley, Lewis, and Cooper continue their mesmerizing battle. Ooh, and a problem for the 95. This is Powell. But Powell. Yeah, Sexton is through for the lead. Let's take a look here. JT Kupal down to the inside, Sexton to the inside. Just a big lock up there from Eric Powell. I think more in the sense that Lewis just had to take a much longer light around. Oh, that's not good. No. Nope. As the white flag flies, this is it. Last lap. Full-on attack time by Lewis. Full-on defense time by Eversley. Last turn onto the front straight. Round eight, the TCR TCA championship. Ryan Eversley has driven brilliantly, and Honda wins at Portland International Raceway. Huge implications again for a great championship battle. And here comes Jeff Sexton. Subaru wins.